since the beginning of CAD, the command line was the primary way you told the CAD software what it is you wanted it to do. And so the command line continues to this day. Typically, it's at the bottom of the screen. Over the last few years, Brixis has made it easier to uh, enter in commands by letting you enter in abbreviated commands. So for example, if I type L, BrickScan now shows all the commands that start with L. Since I want the uh, line command, and that's the one that's highlighted at the top, I now press enter and I start drawing lines. If I want a layer, I, I might start typing LA, or if I want to draw a circle, I could start with C. Now, you might notice that the uh, word circle is in brackets and the C is by itself. And that means that the C is actually an alias. BrickScan lets you define your own shortcuts for command names. I'll show you how. The way to create your own shortcut keystrokes for command names is with the customized dialog box. And you get in there by right clicking any user face element, choosing customize, and there's the customized dialog box. Notice the names of the tabs. Those are the various parts of BricsCAD you can customize with it. What we want to do is command aliases. So I'm going to make the dialog box a bit wider so that we can see that tab. Click on the tab and here you see the existing aliases that are already defined. So earlier we used L for the line command as well as LA for layer and C for circle. Notice what I was doing there to quickly get to a particular entry. I simply typed the first letter L or C. Now on this other pane you can see the available commands. These are all the commands that are in BricsCAD and every one of these could have an alias if you so wanted. Now I'm going to create an alias for the command AI dim flip arrow which flips the directions of arrowheads in dimensions. So first I'm going to go over here and type A and I'm going to check to make sure there is no alias that's named AI yet and there isn't so that's good so I can add one. So I add and I type the letters I want to use, which is AI, and there's the command, and I click OK. Now when I look at the list, it's there. Whenever you do a customization, always check that it works. So I'm going to click OK, quickly draw a dimension, and then enter AI for this new command. On the command prompt, it says select entities, and there are the arrowheads are changing their direction as I use the AI alias. Now you can edit existing aliases and delete them as well. So for example, here is color written in the British style. If you want to edit, simply click edit and make your changes. You can change the spelling of the alias as well as which command it's assigned to. Similarly, if you want to delete it, click the delete command. BricsCAD asks if you're sure. In this case, I'm going to say no.